Um, firstly, excuse the air. I haven't brushed it this morning after getting up. Anyway, I was in Finland with a group of people from the UK, and many of them were Muslims. I have two main experiences I remember living with them in a shared house. The first one is I came back from the supermarket and was putting the meat away in the fridge when a few of them abruptly stopped me and started quizzing me on whether it was halal meat or not. Well, we were in Finland and it is a North European Christian country that didn't even have any Muslim communities from what I saw. It was the most homogenous country I've ever been to. Something like 90% blonde hair and blue eyes. So I'm pretty sure the meat wasn't halal. Why would it be? Anyway, at that point, they abruptly told me I can't place it in the fridge if it's not halal. Even though this meat was fully sealed and packaged. They weren't being polite about it. They were giving me a direct order, imposing their values on me. There was no way I was throwing the meat away after paying a lot of money for it. So we got into a bit of a dispute. Eventually, it was one of the Muslim lads who resolved it in fairness. He said, look, it's a big fridge, so why not you have that part and we'll have that part? So it all worked out in the end. Now, I'm not saying it was all bad most of the time. We got on just fine. But in instances like that, they definitely could make it clear their beliefs took priority. I have never come across that before, whether it's with English, Chinese or anyone else. No one has ever told me I can't put meat in the fridge because it wasn't killed in the correct way. Most people don't care. And to be honest, all halal or kosher meat should be stunned before being killed here. And much of it isn't here in England. I once watched a disturbing video of an halal slaughter on YouTube and the cow was fully conscious. It was one of the sickest things I've ever seen. I know I'm a total hypocrite because I will often eat halal meat, as most other people will without realising. Most of us don't pay attention to how it is killed. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. But I have no problem with banning any slaughter of animals that haven't been stunned first. I eat meat, and one way or another, animals have to be killed. But I'd prefer it if they had a decent life and didn't suffer like in the video I saw. Britain in 2024 shouldn't be allowing that kind of sacrificial killing and torture. Even Islam says it's fine to stun animals first, so I see no reason for that not to happen. Kosher should be made to stun them first too. The rules of Britain have to come first. The second experience was I wanted to watch something on TV one afternoon I was looking forward to. We didn't have the option to record everything like I do here in England. I didn't realise Hemmerdale Farm is so big in Finland either until I saw it on TV there. Anyway, I was about to walk into the shared living room when an arm blocked my path. You can't go in there because Abdul is praying. Again, giving me a direct order. It was on the carpet right in front of the TV and that was the only room in the house with a TV. So, there you have it. That is my two main experiences I remember living in a shared house with some Muslim guys.